It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to complete the square of this quadratic equation in six simple steps. We're asked to solve x squared, add 6x, subtract 72, equals 0 for x by completing the square. So step one of our six steps, if necessary, move c to the right side of the equation. So when I look at this quadratic equation, it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I can see that c has a value of negative 72. So I'm going to add 72 to each side so that our constant c is to the right of the equal sign. When I do this, it remains x squared plus 6x, this is a zero pair, and then 72. Looking at step two, if necessary, we're going to divide all terms by a. Well, a in this instance is 1, so we don't need to divide by 1 because anything divided by 1 is itself. So let's look at step 3. Step 3 is to divide b by 2, square it, and add it to both sides. So I'm forcing perfect squares when I do this. So 6 is b. 6 divided by 2 and square it and add that to both sides. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Six divided by two is three. Three squared is nine. So let's rewrite that. X squared, add six X, add nine is equal to 81. 72 add nine is 81. All right, step four, we're gonna rewrite each side as perfect squares. So X squared plus six X plus nine can be rewritten as X plus three, squared and 90 i mean 81 is 9 squared it's a perfect square so step 5 is going to be to find the square root of each side the square root of x plus 3 squared is x plus 3 the square root of 9 squared is positive or negative 9 there are two roots so let's write our last step is to write and solve the two equations that we got x plus 3 equals positive 9, and x plus 3 equals negative 9. To subtract 3 from each side, to isolate x, we're going to get x is equal to 6. Subtract 3 from each side here on the second equation, a zero pair, x is equal to negative 9 and negative 3, which is negative 12. So the roots or solutions of this quadratic equation found by completing the square are x equals 6 and x equals negative 12. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math.